It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Commanders coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the outskirts of the nation's capital. It's Northwest Stadium in Landover, the home of the Commanders. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football. And you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another, and I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off-seasons. A lot of times, they're friends. But come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win, but when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this off-season. We are ready, and so is Brandon Aubrey to kick this one off. And off we go from just outside our nation's capital. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Here we have a guy, Mike, who's probably one of the most dynamic athletes that we have in the entire NFL at the quarterback position. He can create so many problems for a defense with his legs, but make no mistake about it, he is far from one-dimensional. He's both willing and able to carve a defense up with his arm while using his legs as more of a secondary weapon. If there's one knock on his game at this very moment, it's the fact that occasionally he'll kind of lay one up from time to time. Nonetheless, if he's on his A game in this one, we could be in for a real treat. And this is what you can do when you have one of the best receivers in the game. You understand that even if the coverage is not perfect for the play call, sometimes it's just as simple as my guy is better than your guy, and we're going to just keep giving him a chance. And he'll work forward for about four. It's second down. They went to the design quarterback run, and there just wasn't a lot of space for the quarterback to operate. You can see him kind of waiting for some of the blocks to develop. Never transpired. Didn't get a whole lot going. Short game. Here's second and six. Finding room at midfield. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Jaden Daniels, you look at his time at LSU, Mike, and he certainly had great wide receivers to throw to. But now being a rookie quarterback and having the veteran presence of a guy like Terry McLaurin, that is such a comfort for any young quarterback getting his feet under him in this league. First carry for the versatile Austin Eckler. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Really nice job by the interior of this offensive line. It typically just takes one guy to distort the defense to give the back enough room to operate. And that's exactly what they did here and it led to a big game. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Now Daniels. Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. The best running backs, Mike, they have a really good balance between executing the play that's designed, but then every so often they just have to trust their instincts. And sometimes that's the best plays. That's where the big home run shots come from. And when you have a talented back, you want to give him that freedom. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. 
Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. And no place to go, no place to hide. He's taken down behind the line. This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here, taking them down for a loss. Ninth play of this opening drive, trying to keep it going here on third down. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Great pass rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation. And for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. Cybert's kick is good. And the Commanders will take a 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. So that Cowboy offense takes the field, ready to go to work for the first time. They're led out by their quarterback, veteran, he's 6'3", out of Central Michigan. It's Cooper Rush. I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from the opening whistle. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his time. That's incomplete. They don't end up winning this game, Mike. They're going to look back on that missed throw as being really the biggest reason why. They're just able to connect on that play. Not only is it a big play, but I think they find themselves with an opportunity for a walk-off touchdown. Throwing is rough. The open man is Tobin. And nice work after the catch. He stuck a little short of the first down marker, but it is a pickup of nine. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. He'll try and throw for it on third and one. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air, and we have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. And no run back here. Fair catch taken at the 17-yard line. The commander's offense ready to see the football for the second time. They had the field goal on the opening drive to take the early lead. See if they can improve on it here. 3-0 is our score, and it's first and 10. They'll throw with Daniel. A pass complete to Noah Brown. And he's taken down, but not until he gets to the 32-yard line. Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays, throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. 
will mark him down up at the 44-yard line. This is already a little better than the first time they had the ball, Mike. Remember, opening possession, three and out. Showing some signs of life here now. Nice pick up there by the back to pick up the first down. Two first downs have them up to the 44-yard line. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. Back to the third-round pick, Luke McCaffrey. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. A good spot here, second and a yard. Off the play fake, here's Daniel. And that ball is intercepted by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys will take over possession here at the 44. I think he chalked this one up, Mike, to just a rookie mistake. And anytime you have a young signal caller behind center, you're going to have to deal with some of these ups and downs. Every once in a while, they're just not going to see the coverage. They're going to get baited into making a bad throw. That's kind of par for the course. The key is, how fast can these rookie quarterbacks turn the page, move on, and not make the same mistake again? The Cowboys offense ready to take over for their second possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. is rushed. That's thrown right side, but incomplete. One of those plays where you like the idea, you just don't like the execution. I didn't feel the quarterback was overly comfortable in the pocket. Footwork, a little bit sloppy. All of a sudden now the pass is a little less accurate. An opportunity for a big shot, you end up falling short. Rush. going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. following that dangerous throw of their own. And at this point, they're lucky to walk away with just an incompletion. Here's Brian Anger now. He's on for the second time to try to get something inside the tent. Just what the punter's hoping to do. Fair catch taken right at the 10-yard line. Here comes the Washington offense now. They get set to take over. They'll begin with first down from their own 11. Here's a designed run. And some good running there. He'll fall forward for about seven. And these are body blows on any defense. This quarterback has the ability to make guys miss and do a lot of damage in the run game. And that's a nice pick up there. Here's a second and three forthcoming. It's a give up the middle to Robinson. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. 21 is the line to gain as we hit third down. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. That'll be caught by the running back, Robinson. And he's going to be out of bounds with a gain of seven. And that'll be enough for a first down. 
All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel in. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back, and I think that last one falls in that category. But the biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves with a lead despite a bit of an up-and-down performance out of their quarterback. This is going to be a big loss. He kept retreating, trying to find some place to escape, and there was none. A big loss on the play. Anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed, you know that play's not going anywhere. That's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration. Great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. That's going to be dropped underneath for Robinson. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. The Commanders about to send this one away. Cavante Turpin to return for the Cowboys. Now, fair catch is taken back inside the 40. So now here are the Cowboys. Their offense ready to make their way back onto the field. They'll start it here with a first and ten. They'll send him over to the left. Look to hit him with a jet sweep here to begin this drive. And that one's going to be shut down quickly. A minimal game. Here's second and nine. The first carry now for Rico Gallo. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run. But the offense is kind of saying, OK, line up. I dare you to try to stop us. And right now, this defense has no answers. First and 10. On play action, he'll set up to throw. Back down the field for Lamb. And that is incomplete. He was trying to get it to C.D. Lamb. And that will lead to a second down. This offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd. And even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. They can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes. It's going to go a long way to settle on themselves into this game. This one caught by C.D. Lamb. Terrific job all the way around, especially after the catch, Greg, to take it to the end zone for a touchdown. I'm just so impressed by the acceleration of this receiver, Mike. He catches what is a short pass, and he's able to turn it up the field and take it all the way for six. That is an impressive play, run after catch. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. The kick is good. The Cowboys move out to a 7-3 lead.
So now, after the touchdown, out is Aubrey to kick this one away. Austin Eckler now to return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The commander's offense ready to get back to work. Trail by four, touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. That's into the hands of Alameda Zacchaeus. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. And what a here with Robinson. And he'll have a commander's first down as he gets this up to the 40-yard line. Out of the gun. They give it to Eckler. And he'll get to the 40 on a short game. Here's a second and nine. Again, it's Eckler. Pick up on that one. First down, Washington. This offense has to be thrilled, Mike, with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter. Now as the rest of the game unfolds, everything in the game plan continues to open up. The motion man here is McClure. One quarter in the books. It's the Cowboys with the early edge. More after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Here's a run with Eckler. It'll get forward to about the 42. The all-pro Micah Parsons there for the stop. Second down and eight. To throw is Daniel. And get about six before he's taken down. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page. And when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. They'll come up to third and three. Throwing now, Daniel. He's going to find his receiver. It's Robinson. And he's in. Brian Robinson. Touchdown, Commanders. Well, so often that running back is the best friend of a quarterback down there. This time he takes the pass, and he takes it into the end zone for a touchdown. Mike, the key to a good passing game is to find ways to keep everybody involved. When a defense has to account for every potential target, they tend to get really stretched pretty thin. That's exactly what this offense was able to do. Get the ball to your running back, and he's able to do the rest. Austin Seibert now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the commanders are on top. It's now 10 to 7. <laughs> 
Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. He fields it at the 8. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. There's C.D. Lamb heading back out there with the rest of his Cowboys teammates. They'll begin with 1st and 10. in positive outcomes, so wouldn't be surprised to see him try to get his backs, his wide receivers, get some other guys involved, and then later in the game, go back to his big tight end. Here's Ruck. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Mike, when you're completing less than 35% of your passes, you're just not going to win a lot of games in the NFL. He's just too erratic throughout the course of the game. Sometimes it's exactly how they practice. And at other times, it looks like they've never practiced at all. They look underneath here and find Dowdle. He's going to be brought down very close to that line to gain. They're going to mark him just a bit short. And now it's fourth down. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, is they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The commander's offense and running back Brian Robinson on the field for their next drive. And he's been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers here in the first half. This defense is going to need to find a way to key in on him because he's eating them up right now. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. Here's Daniels. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. We'll come to the line now on second and two. Throwing is Daniel. He'll get back to Zacchaeus. And he'll be taken down for a game three, but that is good enough for a first down. You'll see right before the ball was snapped, the quarterback just take a peek. Is there enough space between the defender and your wide receiver that you intend to throw this little quick to? That's called the cushion. Cushion's big enough, you can run the play. He gets up and press coverage. And that ball picked up. It's the ball of Trayvon Diggs again. We had a chance to talk to the defensive coordinator the other day, and remember what he told us, Mike? He said, we know how talented this young rookie quarterback is. He can make all the throws. We've seen him do it in college. But it's a different animal now doing this in the NFL. We think we can make him force some bad throws and make some bad decisions, and so far here in the first half, that's exactly what they've done. The Cowboys offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They'll start from the plus side of midfield, looking to possibly take the lead here. It's first and ten. to throw. And that one incomplete. We'll try again here. Second and ten. On 
on the ground. It's Dowdle. And he will take this down. Close to a first down. Pickup of nine. They've got him a yard short of the sticks. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down. But that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations. It'll get you the first down, just not here. They'll throw here on third and short yardage. decision here on fourth down it just seemed like a really wasted possession to go three and out not able to pick up a single first down not only do you not able to gain any field position advantage it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails as you find yourself jogging off the field and the puck team coming up Aubrey's kick is good and the Cowboys will level the score at 10 apiece and that's really well done here, Mike. I mean, everything's in rhythm. A good snap, a good hold, and a good kick ties this game. All level at 10 as this one's kicked off. Here's Eckler on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The commander's offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll see if they can go about breaking our tie. We're all even at 10 as this drive begins first and 10. term RPO so often Mike and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL but remember it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent the lineman cannot go downfield so that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long so it's something that teams want to implement but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game a fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Daniels now going to look to throw. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. Terry McLaurin, the intended target on that one. And it'll bring up second down. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, will lead to some easier and better completions. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards, and that leads to third down. shotgun on third down Daniels that's going to be pulled in by Brown a big play there for Washington 36 yards if you want to score points at a high level in the NFL you have to generate explosive plays and after that big chunk pass play they find themselves now down there in the red zone and this is where you have to finish drives So, here's a first and ten now, down inside the 20. Now, Daniels. He'll check this down to the running back. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Second and seven. gift and here comes Robinson maybe a couple there it's third down they'll 
he'll throw with Daniels. There's no need here to be conservative. Let's keep this drive alive and see if we can come away with a touchdown. But instead of just trying to pick up the first down, they go for the big one, and it's a perfect throw, great catch, and they come away with six. Cyber out now for the extra point. He's got it, and the Commanders go up by seven. It is now 17 to 10. Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. The return starts from the five. And he'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The Cowboys offense headed back to take over once more. They find themselves trailing 17-10 to 10 now as they come up with first down and 10. This go deep for Tolbert. That'll be fanned away. Incomplete. Covered very strong defensively. It's second down. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. And now, following the turnover, we have an injured player on the field. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. We'll try again. It's second and ten. the outside into the hands of McClure. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. They'll try to run for it with Robinson. He's going to lose yardage. How about the defense standing up in the red zone? They'll mark it at the 10. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities. And for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line. And we saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. They'll go. Here's Daniels. He's got a man, it's McClure. And he will have the first down. So they roll the dice on fourth down in the red zone. And it pays off with first and goal. Ben 
set in motion is Brown. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. That's out to Brown, right side, complete. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. Here's another shot from the six at second and goal. Slot receiver headed right. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. And the defense stiffening here. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's all. Third and goal coming up. So on second down, they try to hammer it in on the ground, Mike. But now on third and goal. I don't think you have any choice but to put this ball in your quarterback's hands and test this defense through the air. Third and goal. It's Daniel. And he's going to be dropped. They get to him back at the 15-yard line. You can tell what the decision is about how they want to approach fourth down by what they call on third down. If that was a run play, then you can bet they were going to go for it on fourth. But because it was a pass... And then they take a sack. I think this coach on fourth down is leaning towards settling for three. Austin Seibert now for this field goal try. This just a little more than a chip shot. 32-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Commanders will extend their lead. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? So here's Cypher, made the field goal a moment ago, and now we'll kick this one away. Kavante Turpin on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready to get back at it. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. to throw is Rush. He'll find his tight end. That's Jake Ferguson. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line for first and 10. Throwing is Rush. In the middle of the field, it's taken by C.D. Lamb. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? Rush. This one. Deep downfield for Mingo. Beautiful combination in the air there. The pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone. Aubrey, good with the extra point. And the Cowboys are back within a field goal. The lead is three. <laughs> so 
So now, after the touchdown, out is Aubrey to kick this one away. Here's Eckler on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Here comes the number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels, with the rest of the commander's offense. And he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. Set to go now on first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. That's into the hands of Zacchaeus. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. This is such a critical moment in the game, that middle four minutes, the final two minutes of the first half, and then the possession to come out of the halftime break. So maximizing this possession here before halftime is critical. See if you can get a drive starter. See if you can get an easy completion to kickstart a two-minute mode. And that's what they got here. Now they got to see if they can go down and steal some points. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. The throw is Daniels on first and ten. And left side, it's caught. And he's going to have a first down here as they are into field goal range at the 27. That last completion is going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points ideally a touchdown but either way you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter here in the first half we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys I mean they've come out completely on fire so the defense finally gets a stop and really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off Especially just staying poised. Pressure situation. You know how important it is to steal some points before the half. But everybody's in control. Everybody understood the situation and the clock. And they're able to finish that half in style with that late touchdown. Here's Seibert now for the point after. He's got it. And the Commanders add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. Still the matter of six seconds remaining in this half. And the kick's away. In the end zone is Cavante Turpin. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Come up here, first and ten. And they'll elect not to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So we've hit halftime here in the home team. The commanders are out on top as we get you down to Florida. Orlando specifically. For the coaches, Jonathan Coachman has REA Sports. Halftime report.
All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. What a treat to watch the rookie in that first half. The number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels. He lit up the sky with three first half touchdown passes as his guys were rolling in the early part of this football game. teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. On the return, here's Turpin. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Now the return man is a bit slow getting up after that kick. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. Here's Ruck. And that ball incomplete over the middle. Anytime you see a receiver at this level miss a ball that easy, it's just concentration. They just take it for granted. All of a sudden, they're thinking about what their next move is or what they're going to do after the catch. And instead of just focusing on first things first, secure the catch, put the ball away, then become a runner. Here's a carry for Dowdy. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. Now, Rush. Here's a screen coming for Dowdick. And he's going to get awfully close to the first down marker, but appears just to be a few inches short. Well, they say football is a game of inches, and plays like this explain why. You pick up a little bit more, it's a fresh set of downs. Now on fourth and short, this coach has a decision. A fair catch called for and made just beyond their own 15. The home team's offense and Jaden Daniels ready to take over once more. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. Here's first and ten. The drive starts with a carry by Eckler. And he'll be stopped at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. run to begin the drive with Eckler. And that'll help a bit. It's still well short of the sticks. A solid pickup on that first down play. Remember this one thing, Mike. It is not how well or how often you run the ball in the NFL. It's when do you run the ball well in the NFL. And I think that's what a lot of these offensive play callers are starting to realize. Can you run the ball well in critical moments of the game? More important than how many gross yards you run for. He will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. To play corner in this league, Mike, you have to have great reactions and instincts. In this case, he trusts those instincts from the jump, and he's able to send the offense going backwards as a result. Third and long. Throwing now. Daniel. 
Trying to set up the screen, but it is not there. He just had to spike it. It's incomplete, and it'll bring up fourth down. The offense just couldn't seem to get anything going that drive. They knew they had a long way to go, taking over possession that deep in their own territory. You want to pick up that first down and see if you can capitalize some momentum. Instead, the errant throw brings up fourth down, and they're going to have to punt it away. Now, fair catch, signal four, and made here at about the 43-yard line. The visitors' offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. They'll have very good starting field position as they set up past the 40. Now, Dowdle. He'll take this ahead. It's a pickup of three. Frankie Louvu there to make the play defensively. They face second down and seven. They'll run with Dowdle. Room to run inside the 40. And he'll be out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. It's a game there of 26 yards. It's definitely nice to have one of those bruising, punishing backs to kind of help wear down the defense. But I'll tell you what. You can give me a flat-out electric runner like this guy any day of the week. He can turn on those jets, get in that high gear, and he is gone. On play action, he'll set up to throw. Now a deep ball for the end zone. So, of course, you prefer to connect on that throw. But think about it like this, Mike. The more they continue to test this defense downfield, the more it's going to open up some of those shorter passes underneath. A handoff as they try to run it here. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Finding yourself down here, multiple scores in the second half. The defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. And if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. Right back to him on first down. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's second and six. Now here's a keeper on his own reach. He's going nowhere. And a lose yardage on that play. The key to running the read option, Mike, is that the timing has to be just right. If it's too slow getting going, a lot of the times defenders can get in the backfield and cause havoc. And that's exactly what happened here. What can they do here on third down and seven? Rush to throw. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each reporting a sack. Offensive line is going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection. How can we get extra bodies and extra attention? Because we still got a long way to go in this one. On for the field goal now, it's Brandon Ogden. This one from 39 yards out. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Cowboys are able to get it back within a score. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Back 
back out is Brandon Aubrey. He had the field goal a moment ago, and now he'll send this one away. On the return, Noah Igbenogany. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice, forced into a number of bad throws, and generally the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. and 10. Here's Daniel. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. It's so easy to underestimate the speed of this quarterback until you get on the field. They break down your pursuit angle so quickly because of that speed. So give credit to the defense. They understand it's a collective effort to contain this guy. And this time, defense wins and brings him down for a sack. He finds the veteran Ertz. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. On play action, Daniels. Inside the 30. A big play there for Washington. Pick up of 46 yards. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and of course that's a given, but it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else, and I think both of those things were on display there, as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot. To his back and, make the and he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. Rookie to rookie right there, Mike. And I'll tell you what, they've got some really good young pieces on this roster. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. They'll run with Robinson. He will take this one across into the end zone. Brian Robinson. Touchdown, Washington. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finished it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. Cyber out now for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Commanders will extend this third quarter lead. Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. This taken in at the 8-yard line. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The visitors' offense and running back Rico Dowdle getting set for this next drive. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. He'll 
get in behind his blockers, get forward for a pickup of three. Frankie Luvu there to make the play defensively. Try the zone read on first and ten. He'll be five down. Short pick up to the 25. You know, Mike, early in my time in Carolina, we were kind of on the forefront of this NFL zone read revolution. Cam Newton, one of the best to ever do it. I have seen up close and personal. When you run the zone read the right way, it is a nightmare for a defense to defend. It's caught Mingo with the grab. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Third and a yard. Try to pick this one up on the ground. And he will have a Cowboys first down. They're able to convert on third and short. Picking up four. They'll stay on the ground. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. to run and the defense there to meet up they'll hold them to two and bring up third down he'll look to throw Defensively, it'll set up a fourth down. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range, but do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? out is Brandon Aubrey. He had the field goal a moment ago, and now he'll send this one away. Returning is Igbenogany. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The commander's offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Off 
the RPO this one to McLaurin and that keeps him ahead of schedule that's a first down completion of seven yards second down and three to throw is Daniels the throw here is complete the first down. It will be a gain of eight. So we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. From the 39, they come up on first and 10. He'll get that to Zacchaeus. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no gain. just finds himself in a really nice groove and there's these weird times in the game Mike where it just seems like every ball comes your way every play they call you're wide open and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about so they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field there's no mistake in who it is he's got a man it's McClure and he will have the first down the drive will continue after a pickup of eight well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well, not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. First and ten. Give to Robinson from the pistol. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. So when you're evaluating the impact of a team's run game, like I think it's important at the end of the game to look back and say, okay, how many yards did they run for? But more importantly, when did those yards come? Did I run for those yards in the fourth quarter, which typically means I had the lead? That's the sign of a successful run game as opposed to getting a lot of meaningless yards early in the game. Give them 17 more, and they are on a roll. Another first down. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. On the option, here's Robinson. They'll take this forward maybe two, three yards, but doesn't matter. We have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. on second down. Daniel. And that ball led him too far. Maybe too wide. Out of bounds. Incomplete. Luke McCaffrey, the intended receiver. And it's going to be third down. Just a little bit too much juice on that one. And you just can't throw the ball out of bounds. Give your receiver a chance to go up and compete for the ball. But when you miss that far wide, he's got no shot. And that is incomplete. 
the whole idea of the play action pass mike is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer slower developing pass concepts to open up downfield but in this case they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around that ball needed to come out there was no timing and ultimately led in an incompletion So, here's Cypher, made the field goal a moment ago, and now we'll kick this one away. On the return, here's Turpin. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Cowboys offense, and their running back, getting ready to go back to work. And he has put in a full game's work, and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Throwing is Rush. Back to the left side, he's got Ferguson. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike, but I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Every single possession right now is priceless. Points, possessions, and then they got to get some defensive stops. They'll run past midfield to the 45. And they get him to the ground, but he's all the way down to the 35-yard line. Man, how nice is it to have a guy like this? He's your backup running back, but he's kind of a change of pace. He's got that home run ability, and he showed it there. That was a heck of a run. here looks like one of the defenders got a head start so a lot of options on the table now it's first and five now faking the give Catch is made. That is Schoonmaker. And they have the first down. So they get the completion on first and five. And now they'll set up first and ten. Really nice job here by the quarterback. Not only getting outside the pocket, buying more time for his receivers, but then finding a man open who's able to pick up enough to move the chains. To throw is Rook. The open man is Tolbert. He's taken down just shy of the 10. Desperation time now setting here in the fourth quarter. This is where the urgency of your two-minute offense is so critical. How many plays can you run and how fast can you run them? Because one score is not going to do it. You're going to have to score and get the ball back and end up going down and punching it in again. They'll stick to the ground. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but it will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Now off the bootleg, he'll look to throw here. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Well, it's pretty clear the main reason why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the inefficiency of this offense and primarily out of the quarterback position. I mean, to complete less than half of your pass attempts, it just makes it very hard to compete at a high level consistently in the NFL. And if they want to find themselves having any chance of getting back into this game and winning this one, he's going to have to get a lot better with the ball. 
They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Putting in a lot of credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was plenty of time for the quarterback to work through his progression. I thought the protection was actually pretty solid. But at the end of it, there was just nowhere to go, and he had no choice but to just throw that ball away. the Washington offense now they get set to take over and as we look back now Greg at how we got here we got a ton of highlights of the offense so far in particular great passing yeah and if you want to score points in the NFL Mike there's no secret you've got to do it primarily through the air and with three touchdowns here so far that's exactly what we've seen it's been deep balls it's been intermediate shots it's been good run after catch this has really been high level offense on display right from the jump drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. And they'll get him down, but not before he takes this across the 30-yard line. And this is the point of the game, Mike, where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out. You've got the lead. You're in the fourth quarter. And they're able to pop off a big run. So it'll be first and ten. They'll scrimmage at the 33. Off the play fake, here's Daniels. That's out to Brown, right side, complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. And another great throw. And I'll tell you what, Mike, so far today, this certainly does not look like a rookie quarterback. I mean, he is in complete control of this offense. On the ground, it's Robinson. Just pushing defenders out of the way as he surges forward for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. You see the first down pickup there by Luke McCaffrey, and certainly a name a lot of NFL fans are going to recognize. Obviously, the son of Ed McCaffrey, the brother of Christian. And his ability to really work in traffic, make difficult, contested catches, he's going to have to earn some of these opportunities. He had 11 games with at least one receiving touchdown. That led all college football last year at Rice. I think this is a young player that's going to surprise a lot of people and maybe surpass some expectations some of the folks on the outside maybe have placed on. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Play action. Here's Daniels. That's taken in. It's Austin Eckler. He is in. Austin Eckler. Touchdown, Commander. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Here's Seibert now for the point after. It's up and good. And the Commanders will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. 
safe kick taken at the five. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. So now here are the Cowboys. Their offense ready to make their way back onto the field. Things not looking good. But see if we can get the turnaround going here. We'll start this drive with first down. ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. That's going to be incomplete. But now marker comes flying in late behind the line of scrimmage. Might we get a roughing the passer call here? A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Now, rush. Open man down the field. It's Ferguson. And out of bounds, but in business. They're going to have it first and goal inside the five. It's another big play in a game that's had its share. And even 50 yards. From the four-yard line, trying to punch it in. First down and goal. Rush to throw. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. And it's incomplete. That was a perfectly timed hit, and I think it actually saved six points, Mike. He got there just as the ball did, and I think it was the contact that separated him from the ball. Line of scrimmage remains the four-yard line and second and goal. Here's Rush. That is caught, and he's in. Jalen Tolbert, touchdown, Dallas. for the PAT is Aubrey. The kick is good. The Cowboys are able to edge a bit closer. This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. Late in the game, this is where you see teams really start taking some chances. And boy, this was a big one, but it's not going to work out. The commander's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more and he has been masterful so far leading this offense keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes generally one step ahead of the defense all game long the break the huddle coming up now for first and ten they run this Straight ahead with Eckler. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Nice combination of vision, patience, and speed by the running back here. The vision to see the hole, the patience to let the blocks unfold, and then the speed to hit it and pick up a nice game. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this.
He'll go back to Eckler here on first down. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. They'll drop to throw. He'll try and get there on the ground. Cowboys going to use their third and final timeout. They'll be disappointed there after giving up the first down. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. and goal. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. 